So I'm here with uh, John Dunn from MCC. Hi. Uh, um, and I was wondering, you've had MCC for, I think, 11, 10, 11 years now? It's a large sentence, Tim. Uh, when we're coming up to 15 years old in February oh my gosh. 2020. And, so. and what was, how did it all start? Like you, you were looking around some buildings or something back in... I think um, the main point was there wasn't a major climbing centre in the northwest. So there were climbing walls in Warrington, in Leeds and Sheffield. But for the third biggest city in Britain, it needed a big climbing centre. And this was like 2003 or something? Yeah. I think like... I found this in 2002. Right. Um, and obviously you've got to go through the process of finding the building, getting the planning permission. It's a listed building as well, so there are other hurdles yeah. to jump through. And then, and then basically de de developing a plan uh, to make it come to life. Yeah. Um, I think one of the difficulties is always finding a building. Yep. And at that point, 15 years ago, climbing was all about high walls. Yep. Bouldering was quite niche. Yep. Um, had not really emerged on the scene at that point. And obviously, it was all about the height. And yep. this building we found here um, had that height, and obviously, hence the, the big walls we've got in here. And, and so, what happened the day that you found them? Well, basically, I drove past the church. I'm, I'm not from Manchester. By complete chance, I was driving down the road outside Bennett Street. There's a huge sign on the side of the church that this church is now redundant. For any further information, read this number. Pulled the car up, rang the number, and I guess the rest is history, really. But wow. quite simply, the, the local vicar answered the phone yeah. and said, would you like to look in? So I came into the church, all the pews were there, chairs. It was exactly how it had been left. And I said, look, is there any possibility that we might be the climbing wall? Here's what we do. Here's what I'd like to do. And, and it progressed from there, really. Wow. And so at the moment, like, I think MCC, I think I've heard some rumours, possibly from you, that MCC is like undergoing some, some changes and upgrades and things to make it better. We've got the, well, the new Perspex wall in. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it's like any business or bar or restaurant or facility or leisure club. Things move on, things change, and you know, hence the comment on the bouldering, yeah. things move on, and we're nearly 15 years old, we've, we've made significant changes yeah. in that process, we've developed the parsonage, meeting yeah. rooms, training areas, Yes. Um, we've done a lot of upkeep to the building in that process as well, we've repainted the walls, we're always investing in holds, yeah. changed the shop around, but you know, we're at that point now where we're, we're trying to move with the times yeah. really, and you know, people often say, well what's involved with the climbing wall? And, and really, we sell climbing. Yep. Yeah, we sell good walls, fantastic roofs, and a great team. And, and you know, just investing in new holes yep. is key for a centre. Yep. So a lot of the changes are you know, opening up when you walk in, so there's a glass wall, yep. you can see what you're coming into, modernising the cafe. We've got some amazing new murals up, I saw. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the murals in the uh, reception are fantastic. One of our um, regular climbers yep. here, Marsha, he's done a, a yep. great job. And it, it just seemed really good to get one of our members, who's part of the climate team, to come and put some of yeah. their art, some of their work and vision into this building and yeah. it moves it on to another level then. And I think when you look around, you know, there's there's a new feel, a new menu, yeah. and we've got vertical life in our centre, yes. which is, you know, really flicks that millennial switch, that exactly. modern tech person who wants to record the climbs. Yeah progress and improve so yeah we're, we're, we're moving all the time to, 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 to improve what we've got Brilliant. And, and then there are plans to take walls out put new ones in but it's just working the logistics of, of how course. we do that without closing the place down for a period of time and if you were talking to a you know a potential new climber someone who was thinking about coming to MCC perhaps for the first time seeing these these things and being a little bit intimidating um, what would you say to them? Would you say you like you need to go and work out in the gym first? You need to uh, I think, I think go that, running. That's the easy mi misconception of climbing. It's this really dangerous, scary sport that only really crazy people do. It is a super accessible sport. You know, you'll never see engagement in any leisure centre I've ever been in that's as engaging as a night like you've got here with with your group at MCC where you know the guy who climbs the lowest grade is, is climbing the guy who climbs the hardest grade and it's, it's really interactive um, and I think that's the beauty don't be frightened to come in you know, we've got some really great staff here who are really helpful you know they'll, they'll help you with you know, getting you into climbing exactly. we, we can start at the very bottom do the smallest walls 
lowest lowest levels and then build up. Absolutely, I couldn't so, agree more. You know, you know, literally, it, it takes sub five to six hours to be proficient enough to tie your rope and be safe. Absolutely. You know, um, and I think if you look at it in that context, it's pretty simple to get into. I think you're absolutely right, and as you're as you're right, the climbing clans, as you didn't almost mention, the climbing clans having sorry, extra, the climbing clan is having an extra welcoming session next Wednesday. So if if you're watching this and thinking maybe I want to give climbing a go, come down next Wednesday yep, and, and we'll good. look after you. Yeah, and you know it's just a fabulous sport. It's a lifelong sport, but you never conquer this game. Yeah. And when you open it up to going outside, then you know the you world's know, your eyes. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks, Dave. Cheers. Bye.